How do we know the causes of disease? The answer to this question started some 130 years ago with a German scientist named Robert Koch. Now his specific interest was with an animal disease, anthrax of sheep. And in his observations, he had observed in diseased sheep the presence of a bacterium, whereas in healthy sheep there was no bacteria. But how did he prove that this organism caused this disease? As we will go through in this series of videos, he developed a series of steps that will allow you to conclude that a specific disease is caused by a specific pathogen. Now, even though he worked only with sheep, we in plant pathology now find that this series of steps that he developed is a fundamental concept used in determining the cause of all plant diseases. You will be able, at the end of this, to not only describe the steps of Koch's postulates, but also logically describe the reason you follow this series of steps with each of the plant pathogen types that we will work with in this class. So what are those four steps of Koch's postulates that we use in plant pathology? First is to establish a constant association of a specific pathogen with the occurrence of a disease. Secondly, is to isolate that pathogen into pure culture free of all other organisms. Third, is to then take that isolated pathogen, inoculate a plant of the same species or variety, and reproduce the symptoms that you originally observed. And then finally, take that diseased plant, re-isolate the pathogen, and compare it to the original pathogen proving that it was the same and thus the cause of that disease. Watch the following videos to learn the detailed steps involved in completing Koch's postulates.